Don't you think this is starting to wear me? You've been raining down like hail a week. I have tried to give you my soul, but you can't love something. My channel. You got me in stitches. I'm Anna. I'm Teenage Earthling. And this is Emma. Meow. Today we are coming in at you with a video and I have actually made garments. Yeah, that's right. I have actually sewn three items. Yeah, I know I have four fingers, but yes, it's definitely three items. Well, I right, first up, I'll just tell you guys what we are wearing. So, this fabric is from So Jessely, Jessely Handmade, and you've seen this fabric before, and it has these really lovely hacky hoggies on, or hedgehogs, I don't know. Very <laughs> and, cute. <laughs> thank you. I've just got this on. It's a, kind of a, a slumber Saturday again, and teenage Ashley is wearing just a regular ready to wear tee that my friend picked up, didn't he? Yes. So, yeah. Anyway, so the actual garment that I am wearing, tee, if you would like to show my lovely viewers. Yep, so it is this new look pattern. So all of you guys are familiar with this one. And I made the view that the model is wearing there. And I had made a long sleeve, however, I do always scrunch the sleeves up. Best of both worlds, isn't it? Right, so make number one is a tee. It is pretty a basic tee. I just wanted to sew up something relatively quick. And to be fair, the actual sewing part was quick. But preparing everything because you know that... I trace my patterns out. So the pattern is a new look pattern. It is this one here, K6483, and it is view A there. Now, as you can see, just on the hem at the side seams, it has that little detail. I omitted that, and I just sewed both the side seams together and completely took them out because I just wanted a very basic basic tee and originally I was going to actually make a neckband for this tee even though the pattern does not call for that but in the end I just did as the pattern instructed I go me I actually did something that the pattern told me to do like that never happens right <laughs> and all you do is just flip it over so I have surged throughout and also zigzag stitched throughout and I made a size 10. I could have quite easily gone down to a size 8 but I wanted it, this tee just to be a little bit more loose instead of fitting the contours of my body shape. Just more of a relaxed tee, something you could just throw on for those slumber comfy days and at the moment I'm just kind of going towards a little bit of comfort because not being able to be as mobile as I usually am. So the tracing out paper this time I used is this and some of you guys are familiar with it. It is called, I think it's the Swedish tracing paper and my friend Lynn gave me a roll that she had and I kind of had been thinking of trying out this tracing paper and I'm glad that I did. It, it's, it's really quite strange to the touch. It's paper but it kind of has a little bit of structure to it and I think it actually helps if you are doing some fitting. So yeah, really pleased with that. So that was good. Now, the actual t-shirt in question. Again, I'm going to blame Michelle for the fabric because I had seen it on her wonderful channel, Sewing Bunny, and yeah, I'm a sucker for a cute print, 
and just coming shimmering into shot now yay it has these lovely little kitties on and lovely drapey soft fabric and yeah I just like all these characterful happy kitty cats so here's a relatively relaxed and very comfort look and feel to it the fabric I purchased but you guys that recognize this in my recent fabric haul from Lamazzi fabrics this tee although it's very basic it actually does have two bust starts so hopefully there we go you can see there and I actually just needed to lower them a half inch just so they set where they should do yeah so all in all a really good cute comfy tee thank you teenage earthling and it is, it is perfect just like you <laughs> I don't know isn't that I'm... right yes <laughs> yeah but it kind of blends in with the little kitty cats that we have as well don't you think darling yes yeah find a little tee here along the neckline there you can see that I ran that regular zigzag stitch length and short sleeves I don't mind a short sleeve again there just on the hem sleeve zigzag and also the lower part of the hem serge flipped over zigzagged I did not add any length to this tee I was quite happy with how it came up because invariably I actually have to add length to pretty much most garments but actually this was just right for me the only thing that I had to do was lower the dart down about a half inch now it's a shame that dart actually went through that kitty but on the other side oh look at that perfect dart there and it didn't interfere too much with that little putty cow I flipped it to the inside I'm just showing you the front again the back is just like the front but without darts so there's no point kind of showing you almost identical front and back now I've left the line there so you guys can actually see how much I had to lower the bust darts and then that will just come out in the laundry closer up here of the surging and zigzag stitch and then all the surging throughout the hem yeah I'm really pleased with this and yeah I just I was so lucky to actually get this fabric because I think after Michelle had purchased it when I went to go and check out the fabric it actually had sold out then and then looked again later on and Lamazzi had it back in and I was really really happy about that and it's so funny because Michelle and I I wore this last night deliberately because Michelle and I had a zoom call oh my goodness I tell you it's, it's just so lovely I feel like I've known her my entire life and yeah we were chatting for like over two hours absolutely fantastic yeah so if you haven't checked out her channel check out her channel she makes some fantastic makes and we are both just suckers for cute fabric like this and I think Michelle made pajamas but yeah I just wanted a, a cute little everyday tee and uh, something soft and comfy my second make is a simplicity k2369 and this came in a sewing magazine and I decided to opt to make that view there view C view C again I know right it just always seems to happen for the most part, I it's always end up making view C. I don't know how that happens. Do you, my darling? No, it just happens. It just happens. So again, I traced the pattern out. I used a little bit of different paper. This dot 
paper there. I always like to trace out my patterns and I know it's a little bit of extra work but then you've got this pattern and if you ever want to make any tweaks at least you can make those tweaks to the traced out pattern as opposed to if you cut this paper that came with the pattern then you've kind of lost those sizings. Anyway, that aside, I made a size 10 and because it's kind of a semi loose top, I could have actually gone down to a size 8. I did ever so slightly grade down a little bit along the bust area. You will see in a moment when TE brings it into shot, it's because it has this tie wrap front. It's kind of a half wrap. I know that sounds a little bit strange. Yeah and really comfortable make and it was the first time that I made this one so this is the top here and it is this wonderful fabric that you guys would have seen again in the recent fabric haul so these this fabric came from Felicity Fabrics has these beautiful little flowers and birds on and the tie detail there and then it has three pleats that you bring in to create that detail again I'll flip the camera around and talk through and show you guys the inside and the outside a little bit more in detail yeah so it surged throughout I also because this fabric initially to feel it is relatively lightweight when you have a lot of this fabric it then adds a little bit of weight so I just wanted to make sure that my seams were reinforced so not only did I do surging stitches I also did zigzag stitches as well and it's kind of got a raglan feel to this it has these fluty sleeves and all I did was just surge, fold over and then do the zigzag. Now for the, instead of doing a band around the crossover there, I opted to use silver satin brass binding and it also does actually have a back seam. I was actually going to originally take that out but it just adds to a little bit of the shaping. On one of the sleeves, I believe it's this one, I actually had to have a little bit of extra fabric there. See there, I had to actually join a little triangle piece of fabric because I was actually playing a little bit of fabric Tetris and I didn't have quite enough fabric for the sleeve so I actually just added in a little triangle I was actually going to do it on both so then it would actually look the same but where I added it and how this hangs on me you cannot see it so that was really good luck there and I'm pleased that it doesn't notice too much but even if it did it did not matter because I think it would have just added like almost a little design feature. Alright, so moving on to my second make. Here I'll come in and talk about that little insert that I added to the sleeve there. You can see it quite a bit. But like I said, luckily when it's worn, you don't actually see that. And to be fair, I think just where the placement of that fabric is under there, unless somebody's actually going to lift my arm up, you're not going to notice. Or well, hope not anyway. Like I said earlier, I used sitting silver bias binding, surged throughout and obviously did the reinforcements of zigzag stitching as well. Zigzag stitching here and then the tie detail. Now when I make this again, I am going to change up a little bit across this area here because how this is tied I want to make sure that this fabric is actually covering the stitches and the join there and sometimes it moves 
and because of the white so if I pull on it you can actually see it just comes away and I don't like that I I don't like that exposed and I think it's because the space between there and there is a little bit too wide and adds a little bit of bulk so if that was smushed in a little bit more it'd be a little bit smaller and therefore when you come to tie the bow or just leave it as is like that it will actually hopefully stop that completely or at least a little bit more from exposing that yeah that's the only little sort of issue that I have with that yeah but the make is pretty straightforward first time ever that I made it and if I just untie this here if I can one-handed getting there when I said earlier about a partial wrap so the wrap opens that half but this side is integral into the side seam there but also that's quite good because then you can alter the tie to whatever tightness or looseness and then it will configure to how you like it and also then you won't need to kind of worry where that meets and then it's not too much exposed in the chest area so this is the front from the inside clean finish with the surging and the brass binding it does need a press and thankfully I did not stretch it out or at least I don't think I did and yeah it's just such lovely soft fabric and I think it worked really well I know that looks like it looks wobbly it's not it just simply needs pressing again and just finishing off so you guys can see the inside of the back I think if I explore this pennant again I might actually take out that back seam because if you kind of jig the pattern around I believe that you could actually get away with not having that seam and I thought at the time I, but yeah I left as is now it's not hanging on the hanger very eloquently because of the weight of the tie so yeah it looks like it's pulling but it's not it's all well as it should be so yeah clean finish throughout there really pleased how that came out and I will definitely make more and now my third make now Kirsten from Dahlia Society mentioned, the, thank you for the thumbs up, I know I had a bit of a tongue twister off camera there. She had mentioned this pattern company called Pattern Union and I really liked what she showed on her channel so when I was able, so my friend could let me kind of look on their laptop thingy. I searched out their website and looked at their patterns and yeah pretty much most of them are very my style so these pants that I picked up is the henna co-ops it does come in a PDF and for most of you guys you know my thoughts on PDF I am so not a PDF girl and I'm actually going to make a video kind of printed pattern versus PDF patterns and give you my thoughts on that so I'm not going to talk too much about that particular thing now but anyway really pleased how these sewed up and really love the design you have the option of adding those buttons they are literally only decorative and yeah you get variations there you do different lengths 
and also because I think it's so versatile in the sense with different fabrics. Now the fabric that I used for these, my first make, coming into shot now. So this 100% cotton fabric, believe it or not, this gingham, which is actually quite a midweight fabric, was originally a tablecloth and I had it sitting in the kitchen drawer for quite some time and they recently decided that that fabric would actually work really well with these pants and I am so glad that I decided to do that. I didn't quite have enough to do the pocket area hence why there is a contrast fabric there but actually doing that I think it just adds a just a smidge more interest. I have omitted the buttons at the moment and I'm deciding whether to put them on or not. I might do because I really like button detail features like that on pants. It kind of as on the look of kind of the sailor nautical look and I really like that. Yeah, so this pattern has two back darts either side. One is slightly longer than the other and then you actually make a pleat at the front and then you actually stitch that, I think it is, yeah, part way down until you get to there and then it opens out a little bit and really like that feature. Now, guess what I had to do. So this has the closure at the back of a zipper closure. Yeah, so guess what guys? Look at this. So we have a zipper installed. I know my matching of the fabric is a little bit off and you can see there but look guys for the first time ever without any instructions I did start a zipper and look apart from it okay the fabric not matching ignore that but look guys and look no wibbly wobbly down the bottom yeah I cannot believe I installed a zipper that looks that okay absolutely a first time and like I said I didn't look at any videos or tutorials or anything like that I installed it a little bit different to how I usually install them and I just I still can't believe it I'm like wow I'm so very proud of you for finally over tackling your arch nemesis of the zipper yeah oh. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Yeah, I just actually this is, is right, you know, Jocelyn, definitely. Yes. You know how they they just really dislike me and for the most part I just yeah, they really just displease me so much. Yes. And yeah. So when you see the inside as well, yeah. I don't really know what to say. I think I'm just more shocked that I actually did an installation <laughs> that is pretty passable so more than that do you think so yes but installing it this way now I know I know don't don't tell me off the only thing is with that is okay on this fabric you don't see the stitching on the outside very much but you would if it was different fabric and I tend to like my zippers when you install them that you don't actually see the stitching on the outside that's the only little, you know. Yeah. Very good in my book. Yeah, but thank you. You, you can kind of get away with that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. And on the bottom of the hem, because it was already a finished tablecloth, they had the, that's just the hanger there, they had already surged the raw edges and because it had a little curve as you can see there so that's just the side seam I'm just opening up for you it has that little 
almost scalloped design so I kept that and the only thing is I did actually have to do yes very rough around the edges lots and lots of hundreds and hundreds of stitches just to finish that because just the way the pattern laid on the fabric I just needed to finish just one of those little sides off there so it matched with all that surging stitches there now on the inside it's just regular so I, it doesn't have that little scalloped curve but I kept that in there because I thought being on the outside just I mean you're not really going to know this but I know it's there and it was just an extra little feature that I liked for this pattern and like with the other pattern I used this Swedish tracing paper and yeah trace those out I made a size 10 in that and yeah I'm really pleased with them and considering I had a little bit of a, a sewing flunk of not yeah because I had obviously quite a few weeks of not being able to do anything no. had I I'm very proud of you thank you you're welcome you've been an absolute star helping me with everything it's been it's been a struggle isn't it mm -hmm absolute struggle but it's just what some people have to endure sometimes isn't it yeah but my sewing as well as you my darling keep me going but yeah I did have a little bit of a flunk with the sewing and I missed it a lot although I was still thinking about it and thinking about it enough to want to oh I want to do that I want to do that but then it wasn't quite enough and I wasn't able physically to actually do any sewing and the most part of that is because because of certain slight little disability with my back and everything it was the cutting out that I was struggling with I was struggling with it for a long the longest time wasn't I but yes. with the extra added issue that I had it was just like no no, no sewing could be completed because I just couldn't cut out but I'm starting to slowly reconfigure an area where I can do that and also because the projects are kind of not huge then because usually I tended to have to cut out on the floor because of the floor space we didn't have massive tables although I have tables that can open out large with all the renos and everything going on and boxes everywhere it was just limited on space wasn't it yes so I but anyway, yeah, so three makes made and yeah, really happy to have sewn them and they've come out okay-ish. Yeah, and I really like the fabrics. So do I. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Right now, and now finally the Hinnacolites. Really pleased how these came when they were sewn together. I really like the detail. I'll come a little bit closer you can see the stitching there I like that addition of the top stitching and also around the pocket area so just a regular stitch length and yeah how that then stops there and then you have that little pleat detail there I did do my best to match the lines there it's slightly off it's not too bad I guess just turned it round so you guys can see the back starting with that zipper see what I mean about the stitching but I think I did okay it's just not matching I didn't realize that actually until I installed the zip but you know it is what it is so yeah Pretty straightforward with the back. It deliberately has two different lengths of darts there for that shaping, and the waist is high, so it kind of is a slight nod to that vintage look. Now I'm coming in with the inside of the front, and the waist just gets folded over. There is an option to add iron iron interfacing. I decided to omit that because this fabric was pretty durable and therefore didn't require it so I decided to leave it out and it's fine as long as your finishes are clean with surging or whatever your preference is 
it works really well. Now I like the pocket detail there, <laughs> it looks, looks really funny but I like that so again easy installation there and the instructions I cannot fault them they are brilliant instructions and also there is a video to go along with the instructions on the Panning Union channel. So finishing off showing you the back of the inside clean and tidy there there's that regular zipper yeah and then I just surged throughout you can see there yeah so really clean look for these wide leg pants really happy how they all came together Right there guys, so they are my three makes and if you have shown any of these patterns and or if you're familiar with the pattern companies, please let me know how did you get on sewing, what makes did you actually sew. I hope you guys are safe, staying safe and Christmas is round the corner, it is creeping up pretty quickly now. And I am going to do Vlogmas this year. Part of the reason I was a little bit kind of deliberating because of my health. They're not going to be very interesting Vlogmas. <laughs> I have a pretty boring life anyway. But I've got a few little maybe mini tutorials. So my wonderful friend Michelle from Sewing Bunny has kind of given me a little bit of extra encouragement and said yeah do that as a tutorial and I'm like oh I don't know I always feel so inexperienced and but I'm thinking they're just little basic makes so they will be included in vlogmas but yeah I don't know if I'm going to do vlogmas every single day I will do my best but we'll see how we go but I know a lot of people did it last year but again it's there to have a little bit of choice and with everything that's been going on in the world it's good just to have a little bit of different videos and that run up to Christmas just to dip in and out of people's videos you know their life what they'd like to talk about so a few extra maybe additions that they would put in a vlogmas that they wouldn't ordinarily put in their regular sewing videos so yeah and that vlogmas is going to start very soon isn't it TE I mean we are now 28th and vlogmas will start on December 1st and then someone's birthday in December isn't it T.E.? Yes. Yay. Righto, so if you... If you have enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you darling. If and you haven't already please subscribe. Yay. You know where that subscribe button is and yeah so from us we both thank, thank you, you very much, very much. for stopping by. And um, yeah, happy sewing everybody yes. and stay safe. Okay Bye. guys, see you, thank you. Good day everybody. Welcome to my channel. You got me in stitches. Oh, I'm, I am out. Oh. <laughs> we'll just do that again. Kitty cats and... Yeah, just like I said, a relative, oh it's going yellow again, kind of printed pattern versus PDF patterns.